Today's dinner date is 31-year-old Lauren, a recruitment manager from Darlington. I do go on quite a few dates and, and meet different people, but I've just not met the one. It would be great if Prince Charming came knocking at my door, but unfortunately I don't live in Never Never Land. I live in Darlington. And what's this Darlington princess looking for in a man? Somebody who's confident, kind, a man who's got a good sense of humour, or at least that can make me laugh. I think there's a lot to be said for somebody opening the door for you and things like that, you know. If you want a lady, you've got to be a gentleman. So that's the ideal date. What's the ideal dinner? I do enjoy cooking. I really like seafood because it's tasty, it's healthy. I often have it when I'm on holiday, but generally I do sort of pastas and things like that that are quite sort of quick. Hmm. Pleasantly surprised. Lauren is going to be given five menus, each put together by a potential blind date. The five men behind the menus have all come up with a three-course meal, but Lauren will only be having dinner with three of them. She'll choose her dates based on the menus she most likes the look of. So, who are the men behind the menus? So let's have a look. I'm really serious about finding someone special, and if we have an instant connection, then I'm willing to go as far as, as she wants to go. That sounds dirty, doesn't it? <laughs> Menu one is from Sufri, a 37-year-old business development manager from Newcastle. Will Lauren be bowled over by his fishy starter, beefy mane and sweet honey dessert? He sounds like a romantic man to put love at first sight, avocado and crab salad. So his sweet and tender soya beef, is that telling me something about him? But what I also like is that he's also telling me he's got hunky onions, so he's not too soft, he's also a bit of a hunk. He's really hoping to bring it home with his dessert. <laughs> I think this person could be right up my street, so we will see. OK, menu two. I only need one woman. I just need them to satisfy me. <laughs> Basically, that's it. Where is she? I don't know. 31-year-old events organiser Matty from Newcastle is behind menu two. Will his seductive menu of smoked salmon, steak in coconut oil and chocolatey dessert be the one for Lauren? How do you handcraft uh, salmon with elegance? I, don't, I doubt we'd cut it in the shape of a heart because I think that would just look tacky. Light steak, not sure about the coconut oil. Light strawberries in the melted chocolate, that sounds really nice. To me, this menu sounds quite feminine for a man to write sprinkling with angelic dust. I don't know about that. OK, menu three. Greek people, when it comes to women, we go that extra mile to make them happy. Menu three is from Kia, a 33-year-old mobile phone salesman from Newcastle. Will his Greek-themed menu of feta salad, fish and rice and epic banana dessert make Lauren want to go that extra mile with him? The Greek salad of the gods. So straight away I'm thinking this is a powerful man. <laughs> he's heavenly, he's, he's godlike, perhaps. The pan-fried fresh fillet of cod, that sounds really tasty. It feels like it's uh, something that you may have on holiday. That surprised me that he's doing a banana split, but I don't know, maybe Greek gods don't have dessert, so he's struggled to come up with something. And moving on to menu four, to have a look. I'm a New Zealander. My sarcasm over here has, hasn't quite translated too well. Some people can take it as being very mean, but I'm not a mean person. I'm, I'm lovely. The fourth menu comes from 32-year-old Newcastle bar manager Mark. It's a cocktail of mussels, stuffed chicken breast and temptingly titled dessert. But will it prove to be the right mix for Lauren? I love mussels, so that's, that's fine, that sounds great. Chicken, I just find it boring and I, I eat a lot of it at home as well, so I don't want it when I'm out. And for dessert, yuck. I don't know why they call it yuck. Topped with marshmallow, <laughs> to be honest with you. Yeah, yuck. And moving on to menu five. I like girly girls, girls who drink a glass of wine rather than a half a bitter. <laughs> That's what I normally go for. The fifth and final menu comes from Andy, a 29-year-old gas plant engineer and climbing enthusiast from Hartlepool. 
Will he manage to take Lauren to new heights with his lofty lineup of scallops, lamb, and chocolate fondant? Really like scallops. That's that's right up my street. I, I think I'll enjoy that. I like lamb. It's tasty. The ravishing red wine shoe. It sounds delicious. Lavish homemade chocolate fondant with velvety vanilla ice cream. I think that this person may be a bit of a foodie. Enjoys cooking. That sounds a really nice menu. Lauren's seen all five menus on offer, but which three have taken her fancy? I've decided to go with menu one and menu five. The third menu, I had to think about, is a little bit harder, but I've decided to go with menu three. So Lauren has chosen menu one from Sufri, menu three from Kia, and menu five from Andy. Over the next three nights, Lauren will meet each of the men behind the menus she's chosen. They'll all be making her a slap-up three-course meal, but who will she want to see for seconds at the end of the week? Lauren's third and final date is with 29-year-old gas plant engineer Andy, who is still waiting for the right girl. I've been single for around two years now, and I haven't met the right girl. Um, I don't know the reason behind it, but she just hasn't come along, and when she does, I'll know I'll have that feeling, you feel really comfortable with her, and there's that spark. Two years on the single scene means he's well-versed in first dates. I find myself quite successful with the first dates, and my friends call me the first date specialist. And I must admit, I always pull out the bag when I need to, and I've never not had a second date. Let's hope Lauren won't be a one-off for Andy. When she saw his menu, she was seduced by the scallops and lured by the lamb. She thought the man behind the menu must be a bit of a foodie. We'll see about that. Andy makes a start on the dessert of chocolate fondant. I must admit, I've got a real passion for cooking, which is why I do cook. And some people say I'm a good cook, but it's, I make a lot of effort, so I really enjoy it. So this is the main reason I believe my menu's been chosen, because when a girl sees a chocolate fondant on a menu, um, she goes weak at the knees, I believe. <laughs> if Andy's fondant's a knee trembler, surely he's in with a chance tonight. Uh, I would say the, first, the worst thing that could happen this evening would be that we wouldn't have enough uh, conversation to keep the evening going. On most first dates, that is my fear, but as you know, I don't often fear first dates, so it's not an issue. Having whisked sugar, eggs and flour, fearless first dater Andy adds the melted chocolate and butter and chills. And it's onto his main course of lamb. For cosmopolitan Andy, dating is a numbers game. From memory, I'd say I've had in the region of, of, of 20 first dates since the uni days, and uh, I've had 20 successes for second dates. Um, with, with regards to statistics after the second date, I'd rather not comment, but I'll take the positives, and that is from the first date onwards. Let's hope Lauren doesn't become just another statistic tonight. The diced lamb goes into a slow cooker with garlic, onions, carrots and stock, and a healthy glug of red wine. I, th I think cooking is one of the best ways to impress girls because she knows that it's for her and it's with your own fair hands. So it's, 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 cooking a meal is often better than any present you give a girl, especially if it's good. With his own fair hands, Andy adds rosemary, red currant jelly and pancetta. And that's the main taken care of. <coughs> Finally, he blends peas, mint and stock for the puree for his scallops. <coughs> that's his food prepared, just in time, as Lauren's on her way. I'm really looking forward to tonight's meal. It was my favourite menu in terms of the food that he was cooking. It really appealed to me. The sort of person I'm expecting tonight is a mature guy, a confident guy, a bit of a foodie, and hopefully I'll enjoy his company. So this is the biggest challenge for the first aid specialist. If I'm unsuccessful, I'm going to end up with embarrassment with a microwave meal. So the 100% record could be gone, but fingers crossed it won't be. Hi, I'm Andy. <laughs> Hi, Andy, I'm Lauren. Hi, nice to meet you. And you. Would okay. you like to come in? Yes, thank you. So what was it about my menu which made you pick it? I just purely went on it because I thought I'd, I'd pick that in a restaurant and I'd really enjoy it. And the chocolate dessert, was that, was that important? Or? Yeah, to be honest, the, the scallops and, and the lamb, mm. I was like, great. I wasn't too bothered what your dessert was, but yeah, right. I'll eat that as well. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> hope so. <laughs> no, don't worry, I will. <laughs> um, so are you ready to start eating, yes? Yeah, definitely. Are you ready to start cooking? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I get the starter on the go. Good, thank you. <laughs> so while dating veteran Andy gets the starter ready, what do they think of each other so far? I think that he's got a sense of humour. I think that he's um, a little bit cheeky and he seems on a similar wavelength as myself. So first impressions are good. I thought she was a very attractive lady. She's a really good conversationalist, really bubbly. Yeah, I think she could be, could be my kind of girl. Time will tell and two, three classes later we'll see. Andy pan fries scallops and pancetta and serves with his pea puree. That was served. Thank you. That's delicious. I'm really well cooked. Thanks. It's just right, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. You've got that down to a tea. <laughs> <laughs> I am to please. Oh, well, that's good. So you begin to cooking, or...? When I have the time and stuff, yeah, I like to, um, you know, just get some decent ingredients and, and have a look on, on the internet and get a good web website and get a good recipe. Yeah. How, how about yourself? Um, probably a little bit like you. I'll probably go online to get recipes and think I'll have a crack at that mm. if I'm in the mood. Yeah, yeah. Um, I don't actually think I own a cookbook. <laughs> <laughs> actually, Andrew, this is the course that I've looked forward to the most out of all the menus. Oh, right. And it tastes so lovely because it's just totally lived up to my expectations. Oh, right. That's, that's, a, that's a winner for me, then. <laughs> yeah. If anything out of the evening, then you'll have some nice food. <laughs> yeah. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> the starter was a hit with Lauren. Will Andy get closer to a second date with his second course, confit of lamb? <laughs> That's as good as it's going to look. <laughs> the main course is served. <laughs> <laughs> wow. No, it looks really nice. It's tasty. It's really, really nice. And it, do you know what it is? It, it tastes nicer than it looks. <laughs> <laughs> I totally agree with that, yeah. It does. Because I was, I, was, I was making it and um, I had those circular ramekins and it just falls apart when you yeah, take you it off. Yeah, you can't hold it together, but yeah. it's really nice, the sauce. Yeah, I got the inspiration from this dish from a few weeks ago when I met some of my friends in Paris and I was eating some lamb there and it was like slow cooked. It was possibly nicer than this, but it was just like so rich. So really, we should be eating this in Paris. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Phew, she likes it. So, Andrew, what are you like at dating? I enjoy dating. Um, do you? Yeah, I really do. In fact, um, some of my friends call me the uh, first date specialist because um, I don't usually um, not get a second date. Um, so, obviously, the, the pressure on this challenge is, is, is quite large. Really? Yeah. I'm really surprised by that. So you what? You go out on a first date and it doesn't get to second date? Oh, sorry. Um, oh, no, I'm not. Sorry. Um, I, I always get a second date. Oh, you always get one? <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, I misunderstood. I thought you were a one-date wonder. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> you were saying that you're sort of date one specialist, you always get to date two. So what would happen after that? Uh, it goes down... It doesn't go downhill, but <laughs> my, my imagination runs out. <laughs> Oh, what a shame. I think that's the wrong thing to say. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Hmm, not his best line, but Lauren liked his lamb, and for dessert, there's nothing she likes more than a chocolate fondant. Uh, here's the final cast dessert. Wow. <laughs> what do you like to get up to in your spare time? I've got a bit of a... Strange interest. I really like roller coasters. Um, I'm a big oh, fan yeah. of yeah. <laughs> what is it that you like about roller coasters in particular? Then the speed and just like the thought that I could be thrown out of the car at any moment. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to be dead, but you know, I don't. In fact, I don't want to fall out. But it's just the thought of it which excites the me. The thought of it is it's it is the thrill. Yeah. Have you ever done a bungee jump or anything like that? Because that's just off the just off the time bridge. Have you? No. What would you do one? Yeah, I'd do one. Just throw a chocolate fondant over the tide and I'll follow it. <laughs> After a night of more ups than downs, it's time for Lauren to say Auf Wiedersehen, Pet. Take care. You too. <laughs> See ya. Bye.
what did Lauren make of her third and final date? He was a really nice guy. I'm not sure if um, I'm his type or if he's really my type, but I enjoyed the evening. She was certainly attractive. And as the evening wore on, I warmed to her more and more. The chances of having a second date are still in the balance. But, you know, my record is second to none, so I'd like to think I will have a second date. How did Andy rate his date? She had a good sense of humour. Um, she enjoyed my food. And tonight, I'm going to give Lauren two out of three stars. That's two stars for Lauren from Andy. He may be a thrill seeker, but is he a keeper? Hi, I'm Andy. The third and final date was with gas plant engineer Andy, the self-confessed first date specialist. I thought he was a nice guy, maybe slightly nervous initially, out of all three of the dates, perhaps. But as the evening went on, I found him a genuine person, quite an unassuming kind of guy, and I warmed to him. That's the wrong thing to say. <laughs> <laughs> For me, the highlight was the food. It was just so tasty. He's a fantastic cook. He'll make someone a lovely wife. Andy gave Lauren two stars, but will she be back for more of him? Yes, I did. Lauren's three dinner dates are all getting scrubbed up and ready to go, but only one of them will have romance knock on their door. If I was picked today, I'd be over the moon. I'd be really happy because it's what I've, I've wanted since I've met Lauren. Stomach is churning, thoughts running around my head. Yeah, really, really anxious. I'm pretty confident, actually. I think we got on, like, really well. We had so many things in common, so I don't see why not. If I don't get picked today, I will be forfeiting my 100% record, which isn't good for anyone, and especially not my ego, to be honest. Lauren is on her way to take someone out for a meal they haven't had to cook. The other two will be eating in alone. Obviously didn't impress her enough. Macaroni cheese. Mm, not my favourite, but better than nothing. Oh no! I really like the mm, mushroom risotto. Fair. <laughs> That leaves one man who's cooked his way to a romantic meal for two. Hi, yeah. Hi, Andrew. <laughs> what, <laughs> what a nice surprise. <laughs> fantastic. Super for you. Superb. Would you like to come on a date with me? Absolutely. Fantastic, yeah. Fabulous. We're, we're looking forward to it. Great. Lauren and Andy are off for a candlelit dinner. So, Andrew, what did you think when I turned up at the door with your potted plant? I'd have to admit that I was completely shocked when I saw you. Yeah, I was lost for words, uh, but it was a nice lost for words, so I was really pleased that you turned up. Oh, good. I'm pleased too. Romance might be on the menu for Lauren and Andy, but for Sufri and Kia, it's a night in and a ready meal for one. I'm feeling a little bit disappointed, yeah. Lauren's a lovely girl. The majority of boxes that can be ticked on a first date, she, she, she ticked, so, yeah, I was really hopeful. That she was gonna pick me. Anymore. I thought everything went really well. I really liked her. I thought she liked me. I thought we got on really well. So, yeah, I am disappointed. I'm gonna go for to have your company again, Andrew. I'm really pleased you picked me. It's, uh, it's been a highlight of the week. Oh, good. The date's going really well with Andrew. Enjoying his company. We're both a lot more relaxed. I think that his heart's in the right place. He's a genuine person. Yeah, I think we're going to have a really nice evening. The date's going really well. She looks even nicer than she did the first time I met her. Lauren isn't normally the sort of girl that I meet. She's very attractive, very confident, very self-assured. Uh, but by picking me, she's given me a lot of confidence and who knows where this will end. Andrew's kept his 100% first date record, so we'll just have to see with time if we can get to maybe third date.